Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we are working on the Z71, the 2008 GMT. Uh, we are going to be painting and doing some body work. So stay tuned. Uh. All right, so today we uh, pull all this stuff out of this box and show y'all what I used. All right, we started out with using the Bondo glass, which is uh, made by Bondo. It is Bondo, but with fiberglass strands in it. And those fiberglass strands are actually tougher than just regular Bondo. But you use them for deeper and bigger sections than regular Bondo. It doesn't come off as easily. You actually have to sand a lot more with a lot more aggressive sandpaper or uh, whatever you're using to sand it off with. So it works good, but it's not meant for the first and second coat. Oh, well, it's made for the first coat, but not the second coat or the third coat. Uh, so it was a little bit tough to use. The next thing we used was uh, glazing putty. That works too, but I think there's one uh, that's a little bit thinner than that because that's still a little bit thick and still shows some pinholes. Uh, the next thing we used was some lacquer thinner to clean the paint guns with. Uh, so you need that whenever you're painting because you got to keep your stuff clean. Got some filter hats, got a measuring cup, had a few of those. We had to use them a few times because we had to mix multiple uh, cups of paint. Then we used uh, my GMC 05 to 14 graystone metallic uh, from Nason, which is a uh, single stage. Uh, works really well. Uh, I'm going to show you all in just a minute the finished product, and then we'll get on with the video to the rest of the stuff. Uh, expensive little bottle of activator, and then the reducer. So that all comes into play to make sure you have the right amount of uh, consistency with the paint. Uh, I used a set of guns that uh, my wife bought me a, a while back. Uh, they're made by Vapor. Uh, not, who share, uh, not sure who the big manufacturer is, but that's the line that this came out of. Uh, I have like a six-piece kit. The four-piece kit's pretty, uh, I'm not say expensive, it's like 150 bucks maybe, 140. 100 bucks. I don't know. But she got a good deal on it. So, uh, all in all, we used that and it took a couple of hours of sanding and putting more putty on and Bondo on and sanding and sanding and sanding. And it took a little while. Uh, the hood and the fender are painted. Uh, they do have some more work that needs to be done, which is going to be in the next video. So, as of right now, the results came to, looking at this, if you can see how the light is, you see all these dirt nibs and dust and stuff stuck in there, had a little bug getting there. But just as a single stage, you would think this wouldn't come out as good with the clear. But in the shop, it looks great. We're going to let this stay in the sun for a few days and harden up before I start sanding on it. So here's the fender. It got a little bit dirty because we had rain for a few days. But just same thing, little dirt nibs. Got a little bit more uh, eggshell look to it right now and uh, orange peel. But we didn't have any runs, thank goodness. Uh, but if you stand back and look at the two, they look almost identical. So there's really, other than the shine right now, which I'm hoping we can sand it down with like 3000 grit or something like that and then buff it out and it should bring out the shine very well so let's get to this body work
All right, so we took the hood off. We got this fender out, uh, cause we gotta stick this other fender in here and see how it goes against right here. So hopefully, hopefully it'll line up good. The rest of this looks really good. Uh, I got a little paint match that I gotta do with some spray paint probably just to clean up some of these areas that have a little bit of rust on them. Cause this was not prepped and painted. Cause I care about that. But the rest of this stuff looks pretty good. Uh, we'll just figure out everything and how it goes back in afterwards. So, we got it all out of place. Now we're going to fit this fender. Hopefully it fits nicely. Well, in the process of us doing some body work and dealing with all that, I uh, decided to paint the condenser black. So, there's some noise for you. Paint the condenser black, the new uh, other stuff, everything besides this. I painted black, so at least behind the black, behind the black grill, it will be okay. But looking down here at uh, the brakes and stuff, it almost looks like, yep. I need to order some brakes, if you can see that, it's barely there. So it looks like, yep. So, I almost need some new rotors. These rotors are getting pitted. But everything else looks pretty sound. I'll probably I'll put some more grease in here and uh, clean some of this up sometime soon. I need to figure out this camera part because it's going everywhere. They, don't look, they did a kind of crappy job on this camera installation, especially since that goes to the back. So, I might have to redo that. But all in all, I think what we're doing is uh, get it done. So, we're doing some body work and we're trying to figure out this fender because this other fender, like I said, it has body damage right here. And figured if we do this, we can save some money on some paint. And we'll have another fender just in case. Still got to deal with this and we will just a minute. So, that's what's going on right now. So. All right, so now we're test fitting. Now we're test fitting everything. We've got the grill on, not completely yet. Uh, one headlight on, we've got the hood going on, and we're test fitting the straightness of the fender. So we got a little bit more alignment to do. But as you see, the hood, good alignment here. We took care of that, oh, what you, whatever you want to call it, uh, not dent, uh, that bump, that high spot. There's still a little dent in here and we're gonna put some fiberglass Bondo on it. But this all lines up, the headlight looks good. The alignment of the grill right now is still in play as you see, because these brackets behind here the fender line up here looks good. This dent that was in here looks good. We're going to put some fender flares on here. That's what we're coming up with. Uh, we're going to put some Bondo up here and fix this little bit. Uh, but other than that, 
this is what it's starting to look like it's starting to look mean and once I get uh, this done and decide what I want to do with the rest of it which I might have to show y'all after this but we're gonna take a little break for a minute and then what we're gonna do is as we're out here we're gonna pop all this front off we're gonna start bondoing and sanding and take care of this fender cleaning it all up back here and everything and we'll probably fade in the paint job it looks like uh, paint to here and fade it in so the hood and everything matches up we're gonna pull the hood we're gonna fix that high, uh, that low spot back there and then paint it uh, then put it back on we still got to clean up all these other spots got to clean up the interior still got to get my seat belts in got my airbag it's waiting uh, to be put in but when I uh, after this little break we'll get some more filming done on the bodywork side so, take you a break all right so we're back and now we are wet sanding so what we're going to keep doing right now getting y'all a good spot to watch from okay. let's get to it So we're using fiberglass Bondo. All right, so we did Bondo right here. It's fiberglass, so it's going to be a little bit more strong than regular Bondo. It's a little bit more expensive, and it takes so this takes a little while to cure. Uh, we're waiting on it to tack up a little bit, which is getting dry on the top, so it's not it's not pressing in too much. So that's good. So we'll be sanding here very soon. So. Stay tuned. Same goes for this fender, as you see. This is starting to tack up pretty good. So. got final finishing putty on there we're just sanding out some a little bit more uh, smoothing it all out and then uh, once we do this and uh, clean it up a little bit more with a little bit higher grit because right now I'm using 150 
guys. Well, after some painting, as you saw, uh, we got it done. There are a, quite a few, what you call dirt nibs in here. And on top of that, a couple of insects. And then here's one that trailed across. But after some buffing and everything, after the paint hardens, it should come right out. So, pretty much the exact same color. I love it. I, I love the fact of it made it to where it is almost identical. I actually have a shard here from the hood. You almost can't tell a difference other than this is a lot more dull. So, but the color is almost identical. So, another thing done. Another thing to check off the checklist for the GMC. But we got this done. Come out here, I think, I'm not sure if I showed you the fender already. But the fender is exactly the same. It's got a little dullness to it, but once we get uh, in here and able to polish it, it should come in pretty well after that. So, other than that, uh, I didn't tell you what kind of paint I used. I used single stage just because of the fact of one, it was a cheap turnaround. It's my truck that I'm gonna keep. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I've got extra in case I have any damage or anything else. I can just spray it on there and not have to worry about clear or anything else. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy. And seeing as this was my first time painting, I think it was a pretty good little venture of how to do that. Uh, I am going to keep going uh, with learning more about this and doing more. Uh, had to do a little bit of body work. We got that handled. It doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect, but of course there are, uh, like I said, more paint. So I can always come back and clean it up a little bit more if I want to and spray a couple of uh, coats of paint on it. But other than that, I want to thank you for joining in on another episode of The Shop. Uh, check out more of uh, our videos. Check out Teespring. Check out Facebook, Instagram, all that. Uh, there is a giveaway, as always, going on. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and get a chance to win uh, whatever we're giving away at that time. But until next time, thanks.